hi guys hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about what is vulnerability okay now this is a very basic concept related to security and based on a couple of community posts that I have done I got a decent amount of response wherein you guys actually want to know how we should understand security as a whole instead of just understanding different products so we are starting off with that and i'm sure that we will be in a better place altogether the moment we'll reach a stage wherein we'll start talking about implementation orchestration or modernization of your SOC security operations center okay now since this is the first video so i'm going to start off with very basic i mean knowing what is vulnerability okay how exactly it exists in your IT security framework or what impact vulnerabilities can make if they exist in your OT networks okay then we're going to talk about how vulnerabilities impact the overall security posture of your enterprise okay and then we'll talk about a very common feature or a service which is now available with most of the security products wherein they will go ahead and discover vulnerabilities that exist in your environment and use that as an input to let you know what could be your secure score now secure score is a very common term as I've said before it's enabled in most of the security products though it calculates many of the security parameters but vulnerability management is one of the most important and which requires a lot more focus so it's very important for us to start off from the beginning itself so that we can end up in a much better place whenever we reach this stage wherein we'll talk about SOC okay so let's start off by knowing the definition itself I mean what is a vulnerability so it's basically lack of proper security controls or weaknesses that exist across different digital states of your enterprise and then these weaknesses can be used by an adversary to deliver threats okay now for those of you who have already seen the playlist on zero trust or xdr will be able to relate that when i say digital state i typically mean identity endpoints infrastructure network or application these are all digital states right and weaknesses or vulnerabilities can exist at any layer i mean it can be with identities it can be with endpoints it can be with network now there is one more concept that I would like to cover here that most of the vulnerability management ideas or implementation that exist with security products will be typically focused towards endpoints and network but I'm just going to showcase you that how weaknesses can exist at multiple digital states altogether okay so let's start off with a very basic concept but then I have a user who is using a machine and then he or she is trying to access multiple applications now think about a scenario wherein the first two applications are prompting the user to perform second factor authentication or MFA but the third application is not asking the user to perform multi-factor authentication in this case there is a weakness or there is a vulnerability that exists in this user object or that belongs to the user object based on the configuration that you have done think about this as a use case when we talk about identity security right let's say I am a cyber threat actor or I am an adversary and I compromised this account when I will try to sign in into the first two application it's not possible for me by natural means but when I will try to sign into the third application I may be able to access the data let's say which is confidential for your enterprise or some kind of data which is very relevant to this particular user this is a hypothetical example just to explain that how the discovery model works when these attackers try to compromise a particular state or a particular identity okay and in this case since we are talking about identity there is a weakness there is a vulnerability that exists with the user object right similarly if I talk about the next digital state which can be the endpoint okay now think about this for a specific OS build 
it can be Windows, it can be Android, it can be iOS. You see that you get regular updates from the respective vendors and if you will read the documentation, they will let you know that what are the vulnerabilities or where exactly the new security practices have been introduced to make sure everything stays secure. Okay, this was one aspect. The other one is your devices also have certain applications which are installed, right? So vulnerabilities can exist from an endpoint perspective on the OS itself. I mean some of the weaknesses which OS has as well as the applications that exist on that particular device, right? The next stage is the app itself, okay? If we take a step back, recall the use case that we have just discussed and think about this. If you have an application which is using basic auth, you can just go ahead and search online and you will get multiple tools that can help you compromise a basic auth session, right? Think about the vulnerability which an application can result in if the proper security practices don't exist. I mean, in the first case, I was only saying that the user has a vulnerability. Think about this. The second, sorry, this third case wherein the application is still using HTTP instead of HTTPS. Now, any user who is signing into this application is also vulnerable because any session can be compromised and the attacker can gain access. Okay. Now, obviously, to run this entire show wherein you have user endpoint and applications, there will be network. Think about the vulnerabilities which exist at the network layer itself. And let me tell you, it's the most complex one because any random port open on any of your network appliance or device may result in vulnerability, right? Any weakest link that exists in your enterprise can be used by an attacker to initiate a compromise. Now, when we are understanding security, it is very important for you to know that attackers also have a certain timeline. I mean, they also have certain investments that they do in terms of making an impact, right? Or in terms of making, a, making an exploit in your environment, right? So they will obviously try to compromise the vulnerabilities that exist, the weaknesses that they exist. And that's why they also have a typical discovery model wherein with certain tools, they can get to know this information in fraction of second that what are the network vulnerabilities that exist in your environment altogether, okay? So it's very important for you to pay attention in terms of vulnerability management and how exactly it's working in your enterprise, okay? Now, whatever we have discussed till now, this is more over related to IT. But similarly, think about your enterprise as a manufacturing unit wherein you have IoT devices, wherein you have OT networks, CCTV cameras. They all are reporting some kind of information to some kind of cloud service. Think about a very common use case or very common vulnerabilities that exist with IoT devices and that is the removal of admin accounts, default admin accounts. I mean, I bought an IoT device and it had a default username and password to access the admin console. I accessed and I configured the required setting, but then I just, uh, you know, I just forgot to change the password. It's a vulnerability. Anybody can read the vendor documentation and can get access to your IoT device. I'm just giving you some of the very hypothetical examples or some of the examples which have been publicly documented as a case study in terms of how these attackers behave, okay? So what you have to make sure from an organization perspective, irrespective of information technology, security architecture, or OT security architecture, when we talk about organization, your security posture management should be able to perform vulnerability management across your organization. Now it can be IT, OT, or it can be any digital state. It can be any entity that falls under this category. Now the question comes, how exactly vulnerabilities impact security posture of your enterprise? Think about this. Let's say your identity security solution is not as mature as your endpoint solution, right? In this case, your identities are exposed. There are vulnerabilities that exist. There are weakness that exist 
which in a nutshell can simply impact the overall security posture of your enterprise right similarly the same concept goes for data infrastructure or network any weak link that exists in your enterprise is in a nutshell going to impact the security posture of your enterprise and that's why vulnerability management is one of the most key service which a SOC has to offer irrespective of the business type that they are trying to protect okay so from an organization perspective our focus should be making sure the entire security posture management is getting evolved or is getting matured and we should have the best practices in terms of vulnerability management now if i would like to summarize what all we have discussed think about vulnerabilities in one single statement to make it relatable as security of your enterprise is inversely proportional to vulnerabilities now security is very broad but since we are talking about vulnerabilities think about this as an example wherein the more vulnerabilities you will have the less secure your environment will be because there will be more and more exposures more and more weaknesses that can be compromised by an attacker okay so this is just a representation to make it relatable and think about this if you guys have already worked with different security solutions you might have seen what kind of impact multiple vulnerabilities show in secure score section i mean it's very practical if you will narrow it down in terms of understanding that since i have more vulnerabilities the secure score of my enterprise has to be low because there are multiple entities which can be compromised and as soon as my SOC team or my enterprise security operations team analyst they'll start working on vulnerabilities and make sure the count is getting reduced the secure score of my enterprise will obviously get increased right now since we are talking about vulnerability management that's the idea behind showing this example but as I've said before that secure score is not just only dependent on vulnerability management there are other parameters as well which we will cover for sure as we move on with this playlist okay so this is the core idea behind explaining vulnerabilities because vulnerability management is very important and it's a typical six stage process which is something which we are going to cover in our next video okay so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed we have discussed about vulnerability how exactly it impacts your IT or OT networks how exactly it impacts the overall security posture and what is the purpose behind using vulnerability management in the next video we are going to cover vulnerability management end-to-end -end in terms of the processes which are defined in the cybersecurity framework published by NIST Thank you so much thanks for your time if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you once again have a great day ahead bye bye